Almost one year later and still no arrest in the shooting death of three-year-old Devin Page Jr. His family and other faith leaders are starting monthly anti-violence events with their first event happening this weekend. This morning we are joined by Devin's grandmother Kathy Tolliver who has made a commitment to try and make a difference in the Baton Rouge community. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. I do want to say I'm very <laughs> sorry of course to hear about your little grandson. Yeah. And I know it has been almost a year but I would want to ask you you know, how are you doing? It's one day at a time. It's very hard, but we are pressing through. You all are pressing mm -hmm. through. And I know because of this tragedy that you started <clears throat> the Help Five Stay Alive initiative. Tell us about that. So Help Five Stay Alive, you know, um, I believe, and I'll say to the day I die, that if someone had checked on the person who murdered my grandson, checked on their mental state, see what was going on in their mind, they would not have pulled the trigger and my grandson would still be alive. So I thought, you know, it's always awesome to ask someone how they're doing, what's going on, because if you want to know what someone is going to do next, listen to their conversation. And so Help Five Stay Alive is I'm asking you to call five people, whether every two weeks or uh, every, you know, once a month and check on their mental state, see how they're doing, ask questions, and we'll know what's going on what's going to happen next. And now because of the Help Five Stay Alive, you're now promising to do, I guess, these anti-violence events every <clears throat> three months, is it? Or tell us more about that. So we're doing, uh, I started the uh, Baton Rouge City Resolution 2023. And what that is, is we're, asked, we're going to take the remainder of the year, the 11 months, and we're going to every two weeks in the second week in the month, we're going to hit the streets. We're going to make our presence known. We're going to take our city back and we're going to encourage people to get out and get involved in things. I'm trying to be a mirror. My family and I, we're trying to be a mirror so that this won't happen to someone else. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I know we did also did a story with you just a couple of weeks ago, just talking about how you turn your pain, you know, into your into purpose, pain into purpose. Yeah. So you're going to be asking people to put the weapons down, right? Absolutely. We are going to, you know, we know that it is a challenge because this has been going on even before my grandson was murdered. But when it happened to me, I've been an advocate for 30 something years. Mm -hmm. And when this happened to me, I'm like, no way, I'm not gonna sit back and take this. And so I said, with every breath, remaining breath in my body, I'm gonna fight to the end. So we're asking people, you see, until something happens to you, you won't get involved. Right. So we're trying to get people active, you know, so things won't happen. So we're asking you, put the guns down and let's talk. Let's talk about whatever's going on in your life. What's happening, what's going on upstairs? And I can only imagine, you know, of course, what you and your family are going <laughs> through, what other families are going through. What would you say to other families, I guess, who've experienced such tragedy? Oh my goodness. This is a pain that you don't ever want to face. Uh, since, this, this, uh, since this has happened to my grandson, my daughter has moved in with me and every night she comes in my room and she sits on the corner of my bed and she cries. Uh -huh. It breaks my heart. You know, so I'm standing strong for her. And, um, and so I want to prevent this pain. That's what I want to tell people who, the viewers, you know, and people who are, have already experienced this. I want you to, my faith is in God. I would not be here without the faith of God, without his touch. And if you don't know him, I would encourage people to get to know him because there's no other way. Violence has been going on since the beginning of time, mm -hmm. you know, when Cain and Abel. It's been going on way back then. And, you know, we may not be able to stop it 100 percent, but we can certainly slow it down. So this Saturday, tomorrow is the first anti-violence walk. So tell us where and the time. So we're going to be on the corner of Plank Road and Evangeline at 10 a.m. that Saturday. Um, we're going to be out there with the PA system loud. Chief Murphy Paul is supporting us. Um, and we have a lot of community leaders that will be out there with us. We're going to be giving away food because a lot of times to draw people, you, you got to give them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so uh, it's going to be at 10 a.m. And we're going to be just encouraging people people to put the guns down and let's come together and talk. We're going to be in that vacant lot on Plank Road and Evangeline. You're going to hear us. You can't miss us because and even if it rains, we're going to have tents out there. Nothing's going to stop us tomorrow. 